Thank you, Kate. We wanted to get a better idea of how these bans in Rhode Island and Massachusetts will actually be enforced. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell has been looking into that. She continues our team coverage live in studio with what stores are doing in response. Susan. Mike and Steve inspections and other enforcement methods are planned in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island to ensure businesses are complying with the new bans. This is stuff that I packed up this morning. Brian Rodriguez and his co-workers spent the morning boxing up thousands of dollars worth of vaping products at their Seekonk store. We just purchased 50 cases worth of Joel products. Now we're sitting on them. Everybody's saying they're not taking any returns. Brian says his store hasn't received any official guidance about the ban. Governor Baker's office said it will be enforced by local boards of health. We went ahead and just pulled all our stuff. A few miles away in Rhode Island, business was busier than usual at Vaporetti, just hours before Governor Raimondo announced a ban on flavored vaping products. Right after Massachusetts announced their ban on the products, Rhode Island has actually seen uh, an uptick in uh, sales of vapor products. This is one of 401 businesses with an electronic nicotine delivery license from the Rhode Island Department of Health. We've learned a handful of those businesses are from out of state, but most are based in Rhode Island. Licenses are renewed annually for $25. They're mom and pop shops, so basically it's going to put a lot of Rhode Islanders out of business. Rhode Island's partial ban will be enforced by several agencies, including local law enforcement and state police. We also checked into previous enforcement against businesses that sell vaping products. During a federal sweep in 2018, at least 19 businesses in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts were fined or issued warnings for selling vaping products to minors. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.